So fast forward to uh, November 3rd, and if we're successful November 3rd, what happens? Okay. Well, this is this gets us actually through 2017 and is a preliminary timeline that we were we were uh, provided by our uh, pre-bond architect, okay, Fanning and Howie. And I have the next years on the next slide, uh, but they wouldn't all wouldn't all fit there. So I'll take you through some of this again. Moving forward, what we would do, uh, what you can't see up here, and one of the questions you might say is, when would we start designing? When would we start designing the 912 building or the 78 building? Well, the fact of the matter is, is if the bond issue passes, if we're successful in November, there is a period of time that it will take us to get through the selection process to find an architect, okay? That does not happen immediately. And that again is because of the, the rules and the, and the sequence of events that happen with the Ohio Schools Facilities Commission and the Ohio, uh, the Ohio uh, Facilities Construction Commission. So we basically would still be working on finding an architect into past the winter of, uh, past the winter here and into the spring of 16, okay? So, but in 2006, so that tells you right there, okay? So still, why would we not be designing the high school till then? Well, the issue passes, we're still figuring out who would be our architect because there's a process that we have to go through to get there, okay? Just a lot like the process we did for the pre -bond. So, getting into 2016, we would, some of the tasks that we would be working on is relocating Laybourne Field or designing that and then the relocation of uh, Laybourne Field. The high school design would start again, just as I just mentioned, once we have an architect of record on board, okay? The high school construction would start basically, as we've been telling you, about a year later, almost a year later. That is a long process right there that is that it heavily engages our community and you guys, the staff, teachers, administrators, okay, um, to make sure that we're designing something that works for this school district, that works for this community, okay? That's what that process is all about. So when people say, what's, what's the building gonna look like? We don't know yet, okay? A lot of things to be decided, a lot of work to be done, and that's when that happens. Once you have an architect, and up, up until you start building. 